Now this, this is the American West. We know it because we've seen it in movies and watched it on television for years. Howdy, I'm Peter Brown. Now it's my intention to create a TV series in recognition of those glory days of television western. We call this show Shooting the Breeze. Shooting the Breeze. That's where the stars and the character actors and the stunt people will all gather around and join me in sharing stories, some tall tales, about what it was really like to put all these shows on the air for the enjoyment of millions of people around the world. Against the odds, against the wind, they're holding on through thick and thin. Cowboys and gather around Just shooting the breeze Just shooting the breeze Shooting the breeze Okay, what's, what's the hardest western stunt you ever had to do? I had to get bitten by a rattlesnake and he nailed me. And he got hung up in the potato sack that we have wrapped around the corrugated tin. And he drew back. And as he drew back, I went over the hay bales. And he left a puddle here where he just kept envenomating, I think is the word. Really? Yeah. And uh, that got my attention. I don't know. Shooting the breeze. Did you ever do this? Did you ever ride your horse, like, onto another set oh, yeah. on the back lot? Oh, yeah. And it's kind of who in the hell brought that horse in here? <laughs> Shooting the breeze. These were t such tight shows, you had to be so professional, and everybody was, because not only knowing your scenes, but just doing them. I mean, you had to get in there and do it, and they weren't about to take many retakes on you. Bob, I'm putting together a pilot called High Chaparral, and I want you to be one of the greatest. What do you say? I said, Mr. Dortard, what time Monday? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's three people in the film business that were magic on horseback. That was Joel McRae, Ben Johnson, and Roy Rogers. Never seen a man on a horse that was so matched. Just shooting the breeze. Now I think you'll agree that the TV viewers of today who do watch Shooting the Breeze will have spent their time well. Once again, I'm Peter Brown. Adios. Shooting the breeze.